Turning now to developments in a cold case, could the accounts of this woman allegedly sexually assaulted as a four-year-old girl 31 years ago today have prevented a murder police believe was committed by this man only months later? Tonight, that woman talking with 24-Hour News 8 investigator Ken Kolker. I feel as though if they would have listened to my mom and, and did more investigation, that maybe she would still be alive today. Sandra Siegel, then four, told her mom 31 years ago today that Russell Vane had molested her, and her mom told Grand Rapids police. Two months later, in August 1979, with charges never filed against Vane, Diane Sue Holloway was found naked and strangled on the city's west side. Vane is a suspect in that case. I feel horrible for her and her, for, for her family. It's hard. I think they should have uh, um, put a little more trust in a four-year-old girl's words. Sandra recalls a trip with Vane, a family friend in a pickup to the old Pizza Queen restaurant on Stocking. I remember him putting his hands down my pants. I got up in the morning and I told my mom that my pee pee hurt. She remembers being checked by a doctor, her mom talking to police, but nothing came more, of it. They were more concerned of telling me that I was in the wrong for letting her go with him. Police say Vane allegedly molested 13 young girls and women in the 1970s, all victims he knew. But it was only Sanders' mom who told police. She talked to detectives that day, but says she never heard from them again. They didn't have no evidence, and they weren't going to keep them, and they let them go. The Kent Metro cold case team started uncovering the sex assaults while investigating Vane for the murders of Catherine Darling and Diane Holloway in the 1970s. On Tuesday, he was charged with Darling's murder and with molesting Sandra. Looking back, should those dots have been connected? At a press conference today, cold case leaders defended the detectives from three decades ago. Back in 1979, when you have a he said, she said, um, sometimes um, no physical proof uh, back in the day, uh, it was a toss-up with the prosecutor's office. As for Sandra, she still has nightmares, Yes. but is relieved by the charges. I mean, finally, somebody other than my mom is believing me. Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8.